Hey guys, welcome back. I apologize for the delay. I will completely lay on my sword on this one. Um, I had downloaded the wrong <laughs> the wrong test server uh, update, so apologies. This is all on me. Uh, but finally, we are here. Uh, we have gameplay, live gameplay footage, because I know that that was a comment earlier. I was watching the comments. Uh, but welcome, guys. Uh, please tell us who you are and what do you do for the company. I'm Jeremy. I'm one of the co-founders and CEO uh, and engineer by trade of uh, Frosty. Oh, very nice. Uh, I'm Jake Strapko. Uh, I'm a game designer at Frosty. Former Rust player. Former Rust player. As we had this conversation. Not even former. I still play him every now and then. Every so. once in a while, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so for you, can we get your mic just up a little bit? There we go. Yeah. I don't know if it's my hearing. They're going to probably play music soon. It's going to be a whole nightmare. Oh, but right. But we are going to be doing your full time. I know we had uh, a good demo show um, that we're going to show here today. Yeah. Uh, we're live in the server with uh, some community members. Yes. Uh, Jake a recruited a bunch of uh, alpha players, uh, <laughs> long time, long time testers that we, uh, we, we trust them enough to do this for us. Yeah. Um, and a big, big shout out to those guys. Thank you for helping us out. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Um, so I quickly created a character, just jumped right in. I have no idea kind of what I look like or what's going on here. So you are, do, what, you, what are you doing? What are we going on here? Uh, it looks like everyone is uh, harvesting some uh, some materials here to kind of put together their uh, starting equipment. Um, if you want to, you know, say, make an ax for yourself, first thing you're going to need is to go up to one of these little skinny trees. Skinny trees, punch yep. them? Yep, punch it when you get the plus crosshair there. Oh, got there it. There you go. Okay. So you're getting some, some branches and some sap and some sticks. Okay. And uh, if you hit C, you can, you can see, uh, go up to the top there. Basic. Yeah, you want to make one of the axes. You need Got some it. fiber twine and three rough sticks. Okay. So get some fiber, some sticks, and then you can get well on your way. Can um, you hit this? No, no, no. It's once it breaks, I see. Yep. So Jake's, uh, Jake's a pro at this. He's way ahead of you at this point. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. I already saw him hitting with an axe. And I was like, oh, OK, we're already. But it's OK. Jake will protect you. Right, Jake? Yep. OK. I'll try. <laughs> yep. Oh no! You're good. Okay, it's convention internet man. Yep. We're fighting the world right now. Um, so yeah, we got a bunch of people running around to give you kind of the uh, the community feel. This is a communal communal game. Um, it's it's faction based. Mm -hmm. You guys are on the order faction. Um, you saw. And when there's you a lot of people who are like loyal to their uh, to oh their yeah. factions. Oh yeah. There really are. It's uh, it's kind of nuts. Uh, but you saw when you logged in, you were in this, uh, you had that orange shield around mm -hmm. the base there, keeping everybody out. Keeping them safe. Um, you know, obviously that faction base has been built up quite a bit. It didn't come that way. Uh, that was <laughs> People put time and effort into this. They did. Uh, it's all player built, uh, piece by piece. Very nice. Um, How do I get twine? Twine, you, know, you want to find any of the little plants on the ground, the melons or okay, the, the poppies. Melon. Okay. And you have to, you'll have to get a little bit. No, those, are, those plants are too small. Too the, small. The bigger plants. The other guys are already taking them all, so oh, okay. they're yes. leaving you in the dust. We've there's a bunch of them. Already. Yeah, there's oh, a field careful. of them over there. No. Do I just hit it? Yep. Just yeah, keep okay. punching it. And you got a bunch of fiber there. That should be enough to make some twine. So I'll make some twine. And then you can make an X. And, then I and there you go. So if you oh. hold Q, it'll bring up your. Uh, oh, there Very you go. nice. Now I'm fancy. Now you can get real wood. All right, so what am I trying to build here next, then? Uh, you probably want to make a bow so you can defend yourself. Got it. Uh, it should be in that same tree in your crafting menu. Um, yeah, right there. So you just need... Oh, you got enough sticks already. All you oh, need okay. is one more twine. Easy. Uh, if you click up there, mm -hmm. you can actually see the tree view. Oh, there's a tree view. Yeah, got Jay it. can probably show you so everyone else can see. Yeah, uh, that's... Because so, we're not showing my gameplay. Yeah, Obviously crafting, I'm a crafting slow. Is, is is split into all these these trees. There's a couple hundred of them, and so <laughs> okay. Yeah, there's a lot. Just and a so you have to learn how to make one thing that leads to another, leads to another, and so it's we don't just let everybody do everything. Mm -hmm. You gotta you gotta earn your way into making all, all the best stuff. All so right. you got a nice bow there, Very nice. Uh, but you don't have any arrows. Nope. No, that's in the same tree. Luckily. Close that, and then so f how do I get out of the tree? Just back. Just, yeah. Okay. Oh, perfect. There you sticks. go. You so make a bunch of arrows, and then you're ready to go. So can I get sticks through the larger, uh, hitting the larger trees, or yeah. just the smaller ones? Yeah, actually, if you pull out your axe and you left-click on a tree, mm -hmm. you'll get uh, 
is sticks six? for left click? Sticks right is left click, is... and right click is logs. Uh, the, oh, the skinny okay. trees only have the sticks, but so the big trees. So you can pick kind of what, what, what you want. Oh, look, you leveled up. And this will get us. Oh, okay, nice. I like that there's a little bit of a differentiation there in what you want and what you can get. Yeah, a little bit of control. Um, obviously, as you get different types of trees, you'll get different types of wood as well. Um, you'll need to upgrade your tools in order to access, you know, in order to actually successfully harvest higher level things. Got it. Um, there's lots and lots of crafting and progression. It's a survival game. That's what you're supposed to do. So uh, should I be worried about monsters in this as well? You know what? What you need to do is shoot things. And I can do that. Assume that everyone else is also shooting them. Got it. Looks like the the war party is farming uh, is forming up over there. If you want to go join them now that you're uh, successfully armed. How can I see how many arrows? Oh. Oh, you have. Arrow. You just made 51 arrows. Cool. So you think you're I think good. I think I should be good. So if you hit E, you'll pull out your bow, and then with the bow, you will hold right click to draw and left click to fire. Okay, got it. Um, so everyone's moving their way on towards Piggy. the uh, the lake over here. Um, the lake is a good place to get water. Uh, which obviously you need in a survival game so you don't die of thirst. But it's also an obvious place for an ambush, uh, which may or may not be happening here. Oh. I think that's what's going on. Oh, did he burrow? Yes, okay. he's afraid of you. Uh, so where is he going to pop up? I don't know. <laughs> All right, so move, yeah, keep up with, with everybody, everybody there. Uh, we should be heading towards a lake where uh, okay. I believe we might run into some more of our, uh, our fellow cohorts. You can see uh, an Ixen over here. They're uh, they're kind of big and nasty. All right, I'm gonna try and stay with you. <laughs> Good luck. I think I. S yeah. yeah we so there's a little personal base that somebody's built up there. So everyone, you have your faction base. That your whole your whole faction works together to build. But oh, you can go out in the world and build your own personal bases. Um, if you're into that sort of thing. Oh, it looks like we have an attack here by the Revenant. How dare you? The purple faction. So, what, uh, color, what color is uh, the, the order? The, people, the order is orange. Got it. So people shooting the orange orange arrows are, are your friends. What is the, the gold that we see there? Uh, that is somebody's body. Oh, uh, and that okay. means you can go take their stuff. And I would advise it, So actually. I'm going to go do that. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> yeah, it's a hit. Press F. Yep. Oh, leveled up. There you go. Oh, I can. Oh, that guy is didn't have anything. Yeah. Somebody already took his stuff, it looks like. Dude. Yeah. It looks like the fight's going the order's way, surprisingly. I think uh, I think Jake may have uh, rigged this game like he always does. <laughs> Wasn't me, actually. Somehow Jake wins every time. <laughs> um, but you can see the, the floating blue spirits yeah. flying around. Those are actually the spirits that you collect for the for the victory condition. Oh, So okay. you can I'm get them. Well, like every time you kill a player, he's going to drop a spirit. You uh, if you pull out your, it's a little odd right now, if you pull out your axe and take a swing at it, you'll collect it. There you go. Give me that spirit. Look at that. I'm just gonna keep Whoa. stealing he that. He is not. Uh, maybe, maybe it's already taken. He's stubborn. He decided he he didn't want to join us. Rude. All right, so Jake's riding around on his on his uh, boar mount over here. Uh, looks like we're going on another hunting, uh, another raid. I'm fine with that. I assume over to that. Uh, I think you need to go the other way. The other way. There. Yep. Oh. It looks like they're following you, even though they're supposed to follow Jake. <laughs> they must like you better. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It, don't worry, Jake gets that a lot. All right, uh, so, so let's see. I think generally towards the tree. This way. So everyone calls the tree in the center north. North. Regardless Got it. of whether it's actually north. North or not, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but that's good to know. Yeah, regardless. it's good for navigation. Everyone's on the same page. Yeah. I'm headed your way. All right. Uh, fortunately, There's a mini base there. Jake's mountain isn't terribly fast, so <laughs> you should you should be able to keep up. <laughs> One of the slowest <laughs> ones. <laughs> Um, but yeah, most of the creatures you see in the world are tameable. Oh, um, nice. Okay. And uh, I'm most sure of the larger conditions. ones are also mountable. Okay. Yeah, and you got to work. You got to work pretty hard to tame things. The the, uh, the players in the alpha will know that that isn't uh, hasn't been uh, released quite yet. Mm -hmm. uh, it's coming right around the corner. Uh, so we're showing it off here. Um, you know, once you tame a pet, you can bring it along with you, and he'll help you fight. Uh, oh, very nice. But also, again, if they're larger, you can mount them and ride them around. They'll help you. They'll help you in combat. They'll help you harvest things. They'll help you carry things. They'll help they carry you. Mm -hmm. um, so, in the, all the all the different creatures have all sorts of different properties. That you're going to want to collect a whole bunch of them for all sorts of different situations. Oh, very nice. Yeah. 
I've just, uh, I'm cheating and doing the old school uh, rust naked run where you yeah, pull out a rifle then later. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Oh, the wolf's a little faster. So somebody said, is Jake tameable? Is Jake tameable? <laughs> <laughs> I think, Jake, you have to answer that one. Maybe. <laughs> Question mark? HR might get mad if I answer. So. Yeah. That's, that's fair. That's fair. Um... <laughs> Sorry, that, that, was a good that, one. One, that, that one was actually a really got me. One. <laughs> <laughs> can mounts be used to attack players? I think you answered yes to this. Yes, they yes. can. Okay. And can uh, um, pets have an inventory and can a varying carrying capacity depending on the pet? Is that true? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, and that includes if you decide to hop on their back. Uh, if they can carry 500 pounds and they're carrying 200, and you hop on their back and you're you know, carrying 300 yourself. Now the pet is all of a sudden overburdened. So you're okay. If you Slows want, you if down. you want your pet to carry a whole bunch of things, you probably can't hop on his back and, and ride him. Um, you know, some of the pets have really huge carrying capacities, which is awesome if you're just going on a big harvesting run. Mm -hmm. That's see, and that's what's nice compared to like some other survival games is you don't have that op option or opportunity. Yeah. Um, yeah, and some of them will even you can set them in a mode where they'll harvest the, harvest for themselves without you having to do it. You can just walk around with a pet, and he's going to just chop down trees and, and break open rocks, and he'll just put that stuff in his inventory automatically. And all you got to do is uh, enjoy the show, or help him out if you like. Yeah, <laughs> oh, man. the the mount system is really neat, or the pet system is really neat because everyone is a little bit more unique. Mm -hmm. So the wolf, if you kill a, a creature, he'll go over and automatically eat that wolf and gather creature parts for you. Oh, very nice. So okay. um, if you have like a turtle or one of the rams, they'll automatically harvest metal or stone nodes for mm -hmm. you. So if you're just running around, they'll automatically do jobs for you that you don't really want to do, which is really nice. Yeah. That's actually really neat. Maybe you don't really want to do it. Some of us <laughs> enjoy harvesting yeah. endless amounts of stone and iron. I can't tell you the amount of times I've watched Netflix <laughs> and just, like, harvest it. <laughs> it's, 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 uh, it happens. It's fun, right? It's relaxing. Um, All right. So where are we headed, Jake? Uh, we're going to go check out a cave. There's some metal nodes in here that we want. Oh, somebody found a cave. Is there, um, sorry, is there set server wipes? Is it, like, the last faction wins and it wipes? Uh, yeah, so we talked about the, the spirits that you can collect. You bring mm -hmm. them back to your faction base. Um, you store them in what's, in what's called your Divinity Stone. Um, all the factions are actually racing to fill up oh. their Divinity Stone. Scared uh, the crap out of me. Uh, during the Reckoning, when your shields come down, other factions can break into your base and mm -hmm. attack your Divinity Stone, pop those souls out, and steal them and take them back to their base. So you're fighting over these things constantly. Once a faction fills it all the way up, then we declare them the winner, and that's when the server resets. So it's not based on time, it's based on, you know, somebody hitting the victory. Interesting, okay. Let me that. You try to make yourself a torch there? Uh, I was gonna try and make, oh, I don't have enough fiber. I was gonna make a hatchet to help. But uh, I'm just gonna be Fortunately, you got very prepared friends. So yeah. these caves are actually really dark. If you, I see if, that. If that guy puts his torch away, uh, We're in trouble. good luck even finding your way back out again. Uh, so my wife got stuck in one of these one time. Oh, really? Because her torch expired while <gasps> she was in there. Okay, so it does expire. Like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like that. <laughs> yep, it was pretty fun. How long would you estimate a server lasts? A few hours or a few days? Uh, actually, right now, we're balancing it to be about a month or two. Oh, nice. So okay. I appreciate that. For yes. the I'm a builder, so I appreciate yeah. that. The, the goal is to get it, you know, strike the balance between something long enough that you really feel that sense of permanence and progression, mm -hmm. but not so long that it's like, oh, I can't do that again. Uh, now, of course, that balance is... is can be cha will likely be can change changed with time. as we go. And, of course, custom servers can change so many options they can make that they can make that much longer much shorter however they want to do it Oops. There you go. all right what's the next plan jake uh we're gonna check you. out the swamp go to the clan base yeah so the Get world gear. the world has 12 different environments oh um, okay wow. this is this is called this is the only one right now with a name actually this is called hearth home i believe and if i got that wrong i'm gonna get yelled at pretty soon <laughs> i won't tell uh, on you it's on the website. You can check that out. Um, and so this is a fairly forgiving zone. It's mm -hmm. it, you know it's not too hot, not too cold. The creatures aren't okay, terribly so you dangerous. Okay, don't have to worry about weather. Um, there's food everywhere. Um, there's water everywhere. This is a, this is a friendly place to be. That's why we start you here. Um, but before too long, you start noticing uh, it changes. Yeah, there's uh, you know, something different on the horizon. Oh. 
Um, and uh, as, you know, every environment will offer all sorts of unique resources that you can't get anywhere else, along with unique challenges that mm -hmm. you're going to have to overcome. So, you know, we go here in the swamp, and it, I mean, it looks really inviting, of course. Yeah, this uh, is, this is how If you're into the whole Dagobah thing. Um, but, you, you know, pretty quick you start realizing that this is a little bit less friendly than you're used to. Um, simple things like drinking the water, I, I wouldn't advise I wouldn't, it. Yeah. Yeah, you get swamp fever. Oh, and, that's uh, right. Okay. And that'll actually slowly drain your max stamina until you can't sprint anymore. Oh, uh, So that's pretty dangerous. Problem. Um, now these these wasps here, they're not terribly dangerous, but every time they hit you, they start stacking up these pheromones that make you really attractive to other swamp creatures. Uh, so they'll start so finding you from farther and farther away. Got it. And then even something like harvesting the wood here, they have these big razor-like thorns on them, so you start bleeding just from harvesting them. So all these things start adding up to telling you, wow, I can't live here very long. So you'll get pushed out of this area until mm -hmm. you can figure out how to overcome all those things. And then that's a perfect uh, place for a base. <laughs> fortunately, we cheated for you and let you uh, have a whole lot of health, so yes. you'll, you'll be fine for a while. Um, so if you look over here, there's uh, this is where we've built our uh, Jake's personal base. Um, Why do you live in the swamp? Which he is, uh, he's a swamp creature. <laughs> it's like a shrag. That's fair. <laughs> it's my swamp. Wow, you got quite the posse going on here. Yeah, we had a lot of people playing. <laughs> I was like, cool. actually surprised. <laughs> Um, so yeah, building a personal base in a swamp means a the swamp is naturally defending itself. Mm -hmm. It's naturally defending your base from other attackers because they have to get through all the swamp dangers. Um, and b whatever resource extractors he builds here will now be getting resources from this zone, which are a little little more rare, a little more difficult than the resources in, in Hearth Home. Very nice so, build. Yeah, Jake is, uh, he likes squares, as yeah. you can see. They're easier <laughs> to defend. <laughs> so I Very get it. Very utilitarian. Yeah. Uh, so you can see the walls up here are you know, kind of, oh wait, sorry, not everyone can see up no, there. Not everybody can see. There we no, go. So the walls up yeah, here yeah. are, you know, they're kind of scaffoldy looking. Um, so when, you, when you're building, when you're doing base building, it's actually really quick to just plop things down and, and mm -hmm. build really fast. Um, but all you're building is kind of these frames that are very fragile. Got it. And so then you have to go deposit more materials in them to upgrade them. You can oh, upgrade okay, them so a you do the frames times. to build up yeah. into the planks to build an actual wall. Yep. Got it. So, okay, it's, so it's really snappy to build things, but you actually still have to put in a lot of time and effort to actually making a base that's going to stand up to any real attack. I like that. Um, so this game is called Rend, for those who are new. Um, two things. Um, one said, somebody said, poor wife, she will be missed. <laughs> um, and then somebody else said, uh, how can we get keys? Uh, you can go to rendgame.com. Um, you'll see all sorts of stuff we got posted up there. Um, and there's a sign up link to, to sign up for the alpha. Um, we will be inviting tons more people over the next few weeks. Um, so if you haven't gotten in yet, uh, I apologize. It's Jake's fault. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I like that he's like, oh, no, 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 not me, not me. Um, but, yeah, we'll be inviting lots and lots more people as we get closer to release. Uh, wow. We'll be coming out in early access on Steam later this year. Oh, so nice, okay. even if you don't make it into the alpha, you won't have that long to wait before you can hop in the game. Um, I'm just, I'm quickly equipping things. Yeah, I dropped all that stuff for you so Thank you can you. wear it. I was just going to run, I was going to literally make it run. <laughs> oh, see, now you look way more threatening. Now I look scary. Very nice. All right, just there you I go. have everything I need. All right, so what are we preparing right. for here, Jake? Um, I'm gonna go quickly show off building really quick. All right, yes. and then we're gonna this head over to about. capture point. Oh boy, so yeah, it's capture just... points are PvP objectives that are okay. that are around the map. Got it. Um, there's nine of them, and each one can be captured and owned by a faction. Mm -hmm. And uh, once you own it. You can build defensive structures around it to try to hold it as long as you can. Because as long as you own it, your whole faction gets some kind of bonus. Got it. It could be something simple like a run speed buff. It could be something really interesting like a mystic anvil that lets you craft this magic armor that you can only craft in that one spot. Craft? And so okay. the longer you hold this stuff, the better off you are. Okay. Um, so yeah. they're definitely like um, points that you want to make sure that you're continuously going after. Yes. We want, I mean. Um, sorry, give me one second. Is it multiplayer? Yes. Yes. So actually, that's a great question. Yes, it uh, is how multiplayer. How many people can you have in, in a server at one time? Uh, right now, it is 20 per faction online at any given time. So 60 and then there's, total. Yeah, I was going to say three yeah. factions total. Yep. 
Uh, it's it's enough that uh, you, you know it feels you really epic fun. when you get those big 20 on 20 <laughs> fights, but not so much that the server dies uh, trying to keep up with everything. Well, you know that comes with time. Uh, comes yeah. with time. Yeah, you know if you run your own private server, you can set that. Can you can you set that maximum to whatever you want. I just won't guarantee that it'll work. Okay, so that's a great <laughs> question because I used to actually have my own Rust server, so you can keep uh, have your own rend server oh absolutely okay. and we have tons and tons of server options to really customize the experience they're trying to kill your wolf oh wow well, Look at wow rude that was rude that was not nice so at all so rude. mean friendly <laughs> fire <laughs> so jake's over here showing off uh, his box building ability MC i'm loves really boxes. good at building boxes <laughs> so you can see it's very quick to to you know put stuff together um, I promise you can be a lot more creative than this. Uh, We're Jake, just giving an example. Jake, given time, You're throwing him under the bus. Is, Poor guy. I made the cool one over he there with the our, dock and everything. Yes, he is our <laughs> premier base builder for sure. Uh, but you know, he's uh, getting some performance anxiety over here, so he's just going back to what he knows: squares. <laughs> Sorry, this is the throw Jake under the bus. Stream, right? <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> this is my fault. We have the delay. It really, you know, oh, yeah. it's it's all me. Blame me. We got we yeah we got it. We got all this pent up anger. It's got to go somewhere. <laughs> um. So when do you think uh, it'll be available for people who don't have a key? Who don't have a key? Right. Um, well, obviously, if you sign up, you that that may change. Uh, but like I said, we'll be. Available in early access on Steam later this year. We Very don't have nice. an exact date okay. yet. That's still better um, than next year. It's not next year. It is definitely this year. Um, it's it's getting very close. The last big element we need to get in the game to really you know make it complete. That was the last two, I guess, is the pets and mounts, which mm -hmm. you're showing off here, and they'll be in the alpha very soon. Um, and then you know really shoring up the the reckoning event, which Got I it. don't know if we talked about today at all. I don't maybe. think we've talked about it today, right. but I know we have in the past. But let's talk about that. All right. So the reckoning is uh, a pre-scheduled event that happens about twice a week, depending on your server schedule. Got it. Um, it's a it's pre-scheduled. You know when it's going to happen. The shield that protects your faction base comes down. Got it. And your happy fun times are over. We spawn. Everything you've been working for, yes. <laughs> you have uh, to now defend. You have to defend it. But you get to defend it because yeah. you, you know when this is going to happen. So uh, we spawn a bunch of big bad boss monsters called the Lost. Uh, they're these big demon-looking things. You, we'll see them later, I promise. Okay. Um, I was going to say, oh, no. They're, they're horrible and horrifying, um, and they're going to try to take your base out. Okay. Uh, you'll be able to fight them off, but hopefully they don't put too many holes in your walls in the meantime uh, because... Once you fight them There's off, your shields there. still have to recharge for a few hours. Um, and during that time, that's when the other factions can attack. Oh, that's a friendly. I was trying to kill <laughs> Wow. Is there friendly fire? Of yes. course there's friendly fire. Oh, okay. So I you did know, if you run a private server, you can turn that off if you okay. want as well. Uh, there's um, a great question also really quickly about decay. Is there is there that in building? Um, so your what you build in your faction base will not decay. Got it. Uh, if you go and build your own personal structures out in the world, they will decay after a while unless you plant what is called a personal personal base seed. Is that what it's called, Jake? Yeah. Personal base seed in that base. Got it. And what you're doing is you're claiming that as yours. This is mine. And we limit how many of those you can have at a time. So you can't just build 40 bases out in the world. Okay. Um, and that'll Which say, helps servers. Yeah. And that'll say, okay, this isn't going to decay now, and this is mine. And you can earn you can earn more uh, personal base seed slots as you progress through the game as well. Oh, okay, cool. So you don't have, you can definitely like yeah. have a few you know yeah. small you can outposts. Use them. Exactly. You can teleport to them. You can. Oh, okay. You can, uh, I didn't know that. Respawn in them. Got it. Um, you can build different crafting stations in them so that you can have you know you can you can build customize your crafting stations so that you can. Uh, progress faster along the exact areas that you're trying to focus on. So mm -hmm. you get to personalize things that are a little little more powerful than what you get in the faction base. Uh, but again, building your own personal base is, is a choice. It is not something that's ever necessary. Um, it's, a, it's a cool thing to do, and a lot of people are going to like to do it. But if you're not into having to go defend your own base at, at, at all hours of the night, you don't have to do it. You can, you can survive <laughs> just fine using the faction base. Got it. Um, there, there's a couple questions, and I apologize. I'm trying to get to all of them if I can. Um, so I apologize oh, to you also. It. It's going to be very question-oriented. Um, if you want to... Hey, hello, Rude. Um, <laughs> if you want to... Um, what is hitting me right now? Uh, you're freezing to death. Oh. Uh, it turns out that the clothes you're wearing are, don't quite work up here in the Highlands. Got it, got it. Oh, you might, it might I'm just be actually. easier to god mode her then. Yeah, she's fine. <laughs> she's got enough health. Yeah, I should be already. And it's not on my screen anyways, so... Yeah. True. Um... So then, somebody, 
Somebody said, oh, a classic two by one, uh, two by one rust. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I appreciate that. The strats. Um, I will refund. I will refund my arc season pass after the stream. I am in love <laughs> and need my money for rent. Well, I appreciate it. Uh, we will totally uh, welcome you with open arms. Uh, we've played a ton of arc in the studio. Yeah. Uh, it's definitely an inspiration for what we're doing here. Uh, so uh, don't don't be too hard on them. Is there a weapon drop? Uh, uh, we're hit scan. Okay. Um, oh, so very nice. Mo most weapons are hit scan. There's a couple that are like the snipers that are projectile. Okay. Um, but those are light tier weapons. Um, so this is this is one of the capture points, right, Jake? Yes, this is a capture point. So we're fighting another enemy yeah, faction. Yeah, the Revenant faction with their purple uh, purple projectiles is, currently owns this place. We're trying to fight them off. Fortunately, you and Jake are both cheating, so we have an advantage. We have a we lot of help. <laughs> yeah. Um, In fairness, we'll do this. You try know, not to run into time. those spikes over there. Those will yeah. hurt you. Oh wow, your health is actually being tested. This is dangerous. I'll uh, I'll cheese and run out of Highlands. <laughs> I think you'll be fine. Um, so yeah, there's, there's oh wait, there's guns. Okay. Plenty of action going on over here. Uh, these guys really don't want to lose this base because, well, A, it's embarrassing. The whole world's watching. Uh, but B, whatever bonus <laughs> they're getting for this, they really want to keep, you know, for the next hour that the server is up before we take it down. <laughs> <laughs> so the question is, um, so for doors, how does that work in terms of destroying? Uh, so there, Jake, did you bring any explosives along? Um, I believe somebody else has. All right, so there are explosives. Um, you can also build kind of personal siege, like hand siege weapons you can use Got that, it. that are, like we don't really do a lot of melee combat in the game, but there are weapons you can use that are going to do a lot of siege damage to break down doors and walls and things like that. I hope they have better weapons than you. You don't do a whole lot of damage. No, I am, I'm still using <laughs> You're using your starter bow. weapon, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, somebody died. You see all those souls just spawned over there. Yep. Get out of here, dear. <laughs> That's somebody's friend. Please. Not my friend. <laughs> I, oh, he's trying to get the person up there. Did we get them all yet? Oh, There's one more. getting shot from the back. Oh, it's probably where that's coming from. It's one of your buddies, for sure. Everyone's always looking for an ex uh, <laughs> excuse to kill Jake, for sure. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> On live servers and the beta. Yeah. Or alpha. And we can pretend you didn't earn that, but... Uh, I didn't hear anything. Oh, no. Oh, okay. what is okay. going on here? There we go. So we blew up the wall there. Oh, somebody dropped a bomb there, yeah. blew up the wall. Perfect. Let me just kill all these... Um, all right, so we've... Dodo birds. We've now... Oh, yeah, you're in trouble now. Yep, yeah, I'm just gonna cheese. They broke up the wall. You can run inside and yeah, everyone will protect you. We're just gonna run in here. Kill the last few uh, dirty revenants. <laughs> So it only uh, captures when the enemy faction is completely wiped. Is that how that uh, works? Well, you have so if you uh, if you go up to the, uh, the the thing right in the middle to your left. To my uh, left. You, oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, you oh, can hit F and you'll start back. trying to cap it, uh, and they can interrupt you by hitting you. Okay. So you could theoretically do it while they're still alive, but uh, you don't recommend it. It's probably not going to work unless they're really not paying attention. Man, my starter boat is not. What is that? Whoa! Somebody brought an awesome friend along. Just gonna oh, an Aladon's in here. Oh, yeah. he's, he's not a friendly Aladon either. Oh, it's Somebody's their Aladon. Aladon. They're defending with it. Oh, man. We're just gonna run in here for a second. And then I'm Take gonna go a breather. into my inventory and see what <laughs> I can do here. Do you try not to die? Yeah, that's my goal. Oh, we can cheat again if you want. Ah! Uh, yeah, I don't think you, you didn't bring any bandages or potions or anything. I don't have any of that. Yeah. You weren't quite prepared for this. No, I don't think, no, I, I don't didn't know what I fair. didn't know what we get in or mean, we're getting into. Usually, you don't go after a capture point your first, you know, thirty minutes into the game. Well, I mean, probably not. Uh, if you hit tilde up enter, you'll be fine again. Okay, let me just run over here really quickly. <laughs> oh, I feel better. Crazy how that works. All right, are we got. Are we, we going to cap this thing? Yeah, Jake? we yeah. capped it. Oh, we, we just got, got our rewards actually. Oh, so yeah. When you when you capture a capture point, we drop a loot chest for you to, to you know get all sorts of new goodies. And I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, Jake. The the rewards scale up based on how long the other faction held it. Oh right. wow! Okay. Yeah. So if somebody's holding it for like a week long, 
you're going to get a ton of XP, like because it, it's generating XP over time. So the longer okay. they hold it, the more, more it's XP. generating. Okay. So when we take it over, we're going to get a big boost of XP reputation, and then uh, we have a chance of dropping like really rare items. I didn't get anything good. I got a green torch that I put on the ground, so not wow. super exciting. But, um, but there's, it's because it wasn't captured long enough, Got so it. it was basically they just flipped it and took it over and we took it back, basically. Okay, and so. it adds that or the orange protection wall around it now. Right, exactly. Okay. So this will be here for uh, a couple hours, Okay. Um, and then this it'll come back down and then it'll be able to be taken over again. Got cool. it. Yeah, it gives you guys a chance to rebuild the defenses mm -hmm. and, and uh, be prepared for when they get their revenge. Nice. Right, because we blew a hole in the wall, so now we got to build walls up and, and rebuild them. And defend okay. We'll because probably put some automatic turrets and traps and all oh, kinds awesome. of stuff. Yeah. Okay, oh, yeah. that's really neat. Um, so apologies if it is a little laggy. We are fighting the E3 internet. Yep. Um, but uh, that leads a great question and segue into um, how much more optimization will be done. Uh, we will never never be done optimizing. Um, it's something that we work something on always changes constantly. Um, there's, uh, I mean, we we've uh, we do a lot of things specifically to make sure that the game is going to run well. Mm -hmm. um, from art style choices to game design choices, performance is always in the front of our minds. Um, we're we uh, we're committed to making this game run well, uh, both on the client and the server, um, even without a really beefy machine. Oh, very nice. Okay, that just leaked out better. That's weird. <laughs> Crazy how that happens. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna run. I think I'm running down to you. It's a little dark. Yeah, it's dark. I was waiting for you. I was worried that you're gonna get lost in that like <laughs> little valley there. It happens. No it fate. also doesn't help that it, the screen's tilted, so it's like even more dark now. Yeah. yeah. This is about as dark as it gets in the in this zone. Okay. Um, yeah. We definitely don't want we don't want you know the super dark darks in the outside world where got you, you got your your gamma slider up on your other screen and that type of thing. That's not fun for anybody, and it makes the game look really <laughs> terrible. So it we decided does. let's let light, let's let the outside world be uh, generally playable without necessarily a light. But if you go into indoor areas, that's when you got to start bringing out your light. And we can it. do things where you know it's pitch black, so mm -hmm. you can play with your gamma all you want. And all you're doing is changing between black and gray. You still can't see anything. You still can't see anything. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I noticed that especially in the cave as well. Um, yes. How long does it take to progress from early game to late game, uh, characters and weapons? Um, the, our our content's balanced for anywhere from a month to two months for a server cycle. Um, so generally, we want to we want to give you about two to three weeks worth okay. of like end game content just for you to experience. Like we grinded all of this time to mm -hmm. get these weapons. We want you to have like a good amount of time to play with that and being OP, right? Got it. Got so. it. And when he says OP. The later you get into the game, like the things that you can craft are, are really awesome. Mm -hmm. But the things that you can find out in the world, um, you know, whether it's on raid bosses or in random loot, uh, random, random chests that fall from the sky, we start giving you really crazy, overpowered magic items later in the game. Yeah. Uh, things that, are like, you know, wings that let you jump over castle walls, uh, boots that let you sprint 10x faster, a bow oh. with a 50 okay. meter knockback, just really crazy things. But you know, it, it's the, the we're not giving you an item you're going to have for the next ten years. Mm -hmm. The server wipes at the end. Wipes, and I um, like that. Plus, it's a survival game. So if you went and got all the best stuff in the game, all you've done is turn yourself into a raid boss. And we all know what to do with raid bosses. Yeah. So they're going to kill you and take your loot and divvy it all up and argue about who gets what, of course. And, and somebody's going to rage quit. Oh, of course. All that stuff. That's usually how that works. Yeah. All right. Oh, you're on the side of the river. Yeah, I think we're headed back to the faction base now, Jay? Correct. Yeah, we're heading over to the faction base. Uh, you don't know this, but actually the reckoning is scheduled to happen really soon. Oh, so, we so all I should get some food and some water then. Yes. We got, actually, I can yeah, cheat go take and get a some water right here. Yeah, that's, that's not cheating. That's what it's for. Well, yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> You're supposed to drink water. That's there. <laughs> Funny how that works. Uh, yeah, so when the reckoning happens, which, which we talked about, that's when you got to be ready to defend your base. Um, and so... We're all headed back there. Fortunately, they didn't give you a, a mount, so you no, just, it's fine. You get to run around very slowly. But again, not on my screen, so all the fun <laughs> is over there. So we're okay. Yes. We'll pretend that you're running <laughs> just like Jake on his fancy wolf. I am just as fancy. <laughs> um, do you? Uh, how does the teaming system work? Um, that is being worked on right now. Okay. Um, 
The idea is to have a few different taming mechanics, so it's not just the same thing to tame every creature. Got it. Uh, Jake, do you know more about this than I do? Yeah, actually, because right. like we're almost done with it. It's just all right. So yeah, I didn't even know we were almost done. Yeah. Um. So, oh, hold on a second. Jake fell off his wolf. Yeah, I'm putting him away. <laughs> so, um, we have we have like a whole other layer to the game, which is the spirit realm, and we didn't really touch on it too much. Mm -hmm. um, in the spirit realm, you're able to collect spirits for the the divinity tree or the tree of Yggdrasil in the center, which okay. is how you win the game, right? Oh yeah. Um, yeah. So think of there's a very f popular TV show that has uh, another realm yeah. on Netflix. Uh, I hear about the it. Upside every once down. Right. Yeah. Um, so we do did something similar to that. So mm -hmm. it's basically like a a whole other version of the current map that we're playing in. Oh, wow. Um, and then different creatures will spawn in there. So we have like, the Lost Ones, which are the same creatures that attack your base during the Reckoning. Got it. Um, but it's also where you'll tame your creatures. So if I were to go around and kill a pig right now, I could then go into the spirit realm, find that pig's spirit that I just killed, and yeah. then tame his spirit. Then I, I killed leave the you, you're my realm. friend now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, so there's different ways of taming things. So um, we want it to be somewhat quick. Mm -hmm. So it's not like I'm going to sit around and protect something for seven hours. It's awesome. I'm going to go into the spirit realm. I found the creature that I killed in the real world. And then... Um, it sounds really brutal when you talk about it. I know, it does. <laughs> Sorry. I think but it's then, awesome. But Killing then I, you then isn't I, enough. Then I, I win them back. Soul. So like certain creatures prefer a more passive tame. So if okay. I... Um, Sorry, if I uh, killed a no, pig, no, this is our internet. Prefer, this yeah. is not you. If the if I kill a pig, um, it prefer more of a passive tame. So if I were to feed it in the spirit realm, like a special spirit food, mm -hmm. it's going to uh, tame quicker for me. Whereas something like a wolf that's more aggressive, I might have to be more aggressive with his spirit when I tame it, like Got chain it. it down or build a pen for it or something like that. Okay, I like that. You don't have to babysit for ten hours, which right. is what I didn't like about Ra um, sorry Ark. Mm -hmm. It's cool when you have a, a you know really high powered tame that you spend 10 hours on mm. but you shouldn't have to spend 10 hours on the actual tame itself if that no, 10 I hours is split into preparation I don't have time. Uh, it, yeah <laughs> it's it, it you don't have to have a, a, a solid 10 hour block to do it yeah so um. i think everyone's here um so if i would go find a nice high spot on the walls to uh all right let's go oh very to nice. worry about what's happening next so let me go up. Oh, wow. Hey, hello, friends. It looks like hello, they all scouted hello. out the good spots to stand. I'll, uh, I'll join you up here. Oh, you can upgrade. Very nice. Uh, so we have no idea what's going to happen next. Um, the Reckoning is uh, one of the things that is one of the last features we're getting in the game. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, it's, it's existed for a long time, but actually balancing the waves and Balancing. making sure that they're, uh, all the AI works properly, that's something we're just, just getting to at this point. So... Uh, I'm very curious to see what happens. Oh, here oh, we go. Yeah. There goes the shields. And here we go. There's some lost ones coming. Not too bad so far. You see the sky turns dark red. And yeah, it definitely lots of creepy uh, lightning. Just, just in case you scary. weren't already worried. Yeah. Um, everyone seems to be focused on the front of the base. I, don't, I can't imagine that there's nothing in the back. I think. Oh, we have nobody Whoa, watching back. That's okay. bad news. Oh, yeah. We got one guy watching this side. I'm gonna go over here. So these guys here are kind of like your fodder. They're just there to make sure you're awake. Yeah. So uh, there's a god. There has to be like a big bad, right? Oh, there are plenty of worse than these guys. Oh, oh I fell. Jake fell. He's he did that on purpose, guys. <laughs> that one's for the highlight reel. Yeah. It looks like somebody jumped with you. <laughs> <laughs> Save Jake. <laughs> Get him. <laughs> Survive. So these guys are going to come in wave after wave after wave, uh, and they're just going to get harder and harder. So how uh, long does this last? I think we have it balanced in general. I don't, uh, this is one of the early waves. I think okay. the later ones will go up to about 15 minutes or so. Oh, wow. Okay. So it's uh, like you're in for a fight. Yeah. 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 And it's it, an entire event. And the, I really these like guys, that. These guys, like I said, these fodder just kind of wander towards the wall and try to beat on it and try to get in. Mm -hmm. um, they're not going to be successful. Uh, but when you pair them with, you know, kind of bigger guys to help out uh, that's when it starts getting dangerous uh, hopefully we see some of those guys pretty soon like I said I have no idea what's uh, what's coming in this wave do you, you know what's going on Jake I don't actually. all right so Jake's also <laughs> worried all a little nervous another what? one another one no, Jake is ordering more oh Jake wants a harder one 
this is going to go poorly. I think that was like the very first wave. That was the, you've been playing for two days. Here's, yeah. Here's but a token wreck. Oh, here we go. Yeah, here we we go. got more coming in now. Oh, wow. Okay. Hopefully they bring some big friends with them. Um, there was another question. How many tiers of buildings are there? Is I it, guess in terms of Is it maps. four? Um, well, we have... We have two different. We have stone, and then we have wood, and then in those tier or in those two categories, we have multiple tiers. Okay. Um, currently, there's five different tiers of wood and five different tiers of stone. Oh wow! Um, right. But then there's also enhancements that you can do. So like you can put um, like a metal barricade across any of those to make mm -hmm. them even stronger. So uh, stone's really good against anti siege, but Got it. wood is really good against environmental damage. So like if it's hot oh, in an okay. area or something like that, right? Yeah. Just don't think about it much. It makes sense. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, what's the goal for the number of players per server per faction? Uh, well, we're at 20 per faction right now. Um, if server performance is holding up, we can... Ooh, is that a... That's one of the big guys out there? Oh, what is that? Yeah, it's one of the new guys, the Exploder. Oh, I, that's I disgusting. I saw him from up top, though. Oh, oh Jake. <laughs> How embarrassing. Um, anyways, we're just gonna cheat real quick. If, the, if we can, if we can make enough uh, performance tuning, uh, if our performance tuning is successful enough, we might try to get that number up closer to 25 or 30. Okay. Um, any more than that, and the game design itself has to start changing a bit. Okay. Um, but we know we can do 20, so that's where we are at today. Whoa! Look at that. That guy has a shotgun with a thing. Um. <laughs> Jake with the distraction play. <laughs> uh, somebody said, "Looking forward to this game. It looks great. When is it coming out?" Uh, again, we are we are coming out on Steam in early access uh, later this year. Uh, we don't have an exact date yet. We're narrowing that down every day. Um, we uh, we plan to be very very. Um, oh, there's a big guy. Oh crap! He's wow. Yeah, see, those guys are really scary. If they get to the walls, they just break them really fast. Yeah, you generally focus them first, because if you don't kill them quick enough, they'll your blow up your entire gone. base. Oh, got it. Yeah, um, they look like they could do it. But yeah, speaking of early access, we want to make sure we're very respectful of that process. Um, when, we, when we release the game in early access, we're not selling a promise. We're selling a product that is worth that money, we believe, on, that, on day one. And yet, it will still continue to grow and grow the purpose is to bring in people, bring in our players into the into the uh, development process because we don't make this game for ourselves; we're mm -hmm. making it for them. So that's how we see early access as a way to really get their opinions and, the, and their their passion into the game uh, when it's still in the development process. So okay. we can we can end up with something that everyone it, everyone's really uh, really happy with. Nice. Right. So it looks like we survived the night. I'm impressed, the guys. Well, we had a lot of people. Yeah, we, I don't we do think have we, a lot of people. We didn't know yeah. we were going to have this much participation, yeah. but it worked out. <laughs> um, so when somebody said, if you're offline when the reckoning happens, uh, you're screwed. It's pretty much how that works. So uh, will your base still get attacked? Hopefully your faction oh. has enough people there okay. for you. Um, okay. But yeah, if your whole faction decides, nah, I'm not going to play I don't sign in, reckoning, yeah. then they're going to be in trouble. Okay. Does it auto-balance the factions and force you into a certain faction when you join? No. Okay. Um, how big is the map, and is the is it random gen maps? The map is handmade. Um, it's right. very large. It's roughly a triangle with a faction base at each point, a tree in the middle. You mean like these t-shirts that we have? It does look roughly like those t-shirts. Similar to something like this, I yes. think. Um, <laughs> if you were to run from one base to another without a mount, it would take you about a half an hour. Oh my god. So oh. it's a very large map. Okay. Now, obviously, mounts will speed that up, and we also have teleporters around yeah. the world to help you get around. We don't want people to spend all their time running no, from place that, to place. No, but that size is amazing, We though. want the space to you know, provide all the unique environments mm -hmm. uh, to, to everybody. Whoa, what's going on now? They're just killing well, now each other's pets each other. now. <laughs> <laughs> and we have devolved into this is a This is yeah. about what I <laughs> yeah. expected. Yeah. I mean, it's a survival <laughs> game. Yeah. People are going to shoot each other. <laughs> Um, let me see what else is going on here. <laughs> Clearly this demo has run its course. <laughs> Someone says, I'm hyped about this too. Uh, please make this game support Ansel, uh, Ansel so uh, creators everywhere where will thank you. We are actually have, been, have begun looking into that process. Okay, very nice. Um, so this game is called Rend. Uh, yes. In early access sometime in 2018. Sometime this year, 2018, that's correct. Okay. 
Would love to see siege weapons and possibly airships. Airships? I don't know if we have those in the plans, but if that's what everyone wants, it might happen. Uh, siege weapons are definitely, we have a couple test ones in, and we'll be fleshing that out a lot more. Oh, very um, cool. There's a really cool ballista in. Uh, we've been working on a new gameplay trailer for launch. Oh, um, nice. No, we're not showing that to anybody. Fair. But one of the things showing in there is a really awesome ballista. Okay. Um, can you give a brief summary of each class? I assume cla yeah, faction more so. They're than not class? really classes. They're, they're so the talents. Uh, Jake oh, pulled up here. Yeah, okay. They're not really classes. They're more uh, archetypes because mm -hmm. you don't. It's it's not defining a role for you. It's it's just kind of a, a collection of similar type abilities. Mm -hmm. You actually get to pick two of these. You, you can go all the way down one and most of the way down another one. Oh wow! All right. Um, so, so that's kinda, quite a bit. Yeah. Jake, you probably know a lot more about this since yeah. you designed a lot of it. Yeah, so. since I did most of it. Um, <laughs> so we wanted to stay away from the traditional, um, I think it's called GURPS, which is you, oh. you choose um, a stat and boost that stat. We didn't want you to just be able to pump, like, I want all health or I want to all have all carry weight. Got we it. wanted to give you different perks that alter those stats for you, mm -hmm. but also give you different things like buffs that are going to be more exciting than that. Um, it also fair. allows us to basically babysit you to where you can't completely ruin your character. <laughs> where you're like, I, I'm, I like I'm max level, but I put all my points in Topor, and now I get one shot by melee weapons. You know, we didn't want you to do something like that. Um, so I this allows it. us to balance. Yeah, no, you, I'm it's a, sure it's you a have. <laughs> or it's just a doing choice. all move speed, and that's it. And you're like, oh, that guy's crazy fast. Yeah. <laughs> we wanted to keep some balance there for that, right? Okay. Um, I like that you call it babysitting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we have uh, four different archetypes. All of these archetypes have. Um, we wanted to stay away from classes because you can kind of mix and match what you want to play or what you want to do with your class or your mm -hmm. archetype. So assassin, this one that I chose, is more focused on one v one combat. Whether it's one v one PvP okay. or one v one creatures, like soloing a one v one big guy. Oh, okay. um, And they're more focused on like tricky gameplay. So if I want to go stealth for a little bit or vanish or set traps mm -hmm. or create smoke bombs poison, stuff like that, that's what they're going to be more focused on. Got it. Where the soldier over here is more focused on group combat, whether it's group PvE or PvP, taking capture points, the reckoning, pretty okay. much anything I'm going to do with my friends, a soldier is going to be a really good asset because they can do like big AoE knockbacks and debuffs and oh, cast okay. spells. Got it. Um, they can heal groups of players. They also do like a war cry where they can increase everybody's uh, movement speed around them. Mm -hmm. um, where survivalist is more focused on living out in the world. Um, by himself and using the world to help or helping using the world to help him kill enemy players. Okay. So he can do like um, Traps that drain your food and your water supply or things that slow you it kills you and kills you like you just did Yeah, yeah. Um, oh wait, I died to a person. But yeah, so I no. expected that too. Yeah, of course <laughs> Probably, yeah. You're standing still so you're yeah, it was only target. a matter of time <laughs> Um, so yeah, Survivalist is more focused on I'm not going to kill you, but I'm going to set things up to kill you for me, so I don't have to actually worry about it. They're more of like a run and hide kind of Got thing. Got it. But they're also really focused on crafting as well. So okay. they get big bonuses to um, resource collection. So if, uh, if I want to really focus on being a wood a bow maker, um, I'm going to probably want to choose Survivalist because they're going to get a big boost to uh, wood collecting, which will allow me to craft better bows later on. Okay. Oh. Sorry, chat's moving, and I'm oh, trying to keep fine. the questions. <laughs> All good. Um, and then the last one is just Mystic, which is more focused on the wind condition, which is collecting spirits. Got it. They're focused on um, going into the spirit realm whenever they want. Mm -hmm. Usually, um, you'll have to find an event to go into the spirit realm. They're able to immediately transfer over. Automatically. Yeah, so okay. they're just like, I want to go right now, or I can create a portal for my friends, and we can all go to deck to go together. They're the only oh, people okay. that can do that, which So is it's really definitely neat. good in your faction um, to have a little bit of, right. of each in the, of yep. these classes, which is nice. Um, I like that you gave yourself 87 points. <laughs> uh, I, I just I set my level to 100. Oh, there so, you go. Because I was showing you can click multiple things. So you don't have to like go down a specific path. Okay. Um, and what's nice is we didn't limit it to where it's like I have to get one of here to go down to, to go the next down. row. If oh, I wanted to do you. all 10 points up at, or all 15 points up at the top and skip this entire row and just get the last ones, mm -hmm. I can't. Okay. So I'm not forced to choose something I don't want. I can okay. completely customize. If I want to have a really strong disease shot, I can put all my points in disease shot and have, you know, the best disease shot in the game. Oh, crap. But I'm okay. giving up points in other spells, so I might not have a trap, I might not have a smoke grenade. I'll just do a lot of damage with my disease shot instead. Fair. Right. So you'll build up your own personal strengths, is pretty much what it is. Right, exactly. Um, someone asked, um, what if you have a troll in your faction? Uh, so there's a... We, we've there's a lot of ways to try to mitigate trollish behavior. Um, 
There's no way to eliminate it completely. Uh, one thing we did is there's a faction reputation system. Oh, okay. So we can keep track of who is helping and who is hurting. Got it. Uh, and we can add and remove permissions based on that. Okay. Um, so if you're just a troll and you don't really help out, you're not going to be able to do things like delete walls and, and things like that. Or even yeah. or even pull out weapons from the armory, right? Mm -hmm. So... Um, a lot of times it's... Uh, it's nice to have that little, like, per babysitting protection. Yes, right. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, but it's it's going to be something we, we're constantly monitoring and okay. figuring out different ways to, to mitigate forever, basically. Very nice. Um, will the game have farming? Like, are you able to plant seeds for food? Um, currently, no. But it's not okay. something that we're opposed to doing. Okay. It's something that I've talked about quite a bit in the office. Um, but it's just not on the plane. We want to we want to focus on down core gameplay before we start introducing something like that. Fair. Plus, the world's full of stuff to go harvest. Mm -hmm. So, someone said, "Can you max out one tree?" Yes, you can. You don't have to choose two trees if you don't want to. Okay, so you can put all of your yeah. Ice yep. in you're just limiting points. what you can do, right? Okay. You're but gonna, you're really good at what you can do. Right, exactly. Um, just making sure. Is there any other um, things that we have not gone over, haven't uh, shown that you guys are interested in showing everybody on stream? Have we gone through pretty much everything at this yeah, point? Pretty much. Okay. It's, uh, yeah. Awesome. I mean, we haven't seen the whole world, of course. Well, but, uh, I mean, that's for everybody else to explore. Nobody's got time for that. Yeah. <laughs> we don't have. To, we don't have another additional exactly. thirty minutes to walk right, yeah. from one point and then right. another. Right. Exactly. Yeah. So you know, we have time. Uh, release date is early access 2018. That's right. Sometime in 2018. And if you're interested, you can go uh, try your luck and sign up for the alpha at rengame.com. Rengame.com. Uh, one last question I'll make sure to get over is uh, somebody wants to know about artifact weapons. Yes. Um, so when I was talking about those crazy magic weapons that are yes. super overpowered, those are the artifact, artifact weapons. Artifact weapons, okay. And they, those start appearing early in the game, but they're not that strong. They start okay. really taking form. As Late you get game. farther into the world, um, and yeah, these things are awesome and spectacular. I'm excited. Yeah, excited we, about we start that. scaling them pretty early on. Okay. We want, we want to introduce you to the, the idea that there's artifacts out there. Got so it. So you might kill a wolf and find um, something in his stomach that's actually something that you can repair and fix that was an old artifact that was found by somebody else. Oh, okay. Used. So there's a lot of little things that we're trying to throw in there. Um, there's a big loot chest that will come crashing down. I was actually looking to see if I could find one um, that usually have either artifacts or gear for you in there as oh, well. Oh, very nice. So okay. it's, it's a nice little like uh, stepping stone to kind of skip content if you already know what you're doing. Mm -hmm. um, so you can run around looking for uh, chests to try and find stuff that you don't want to necessarily craft for. Okay. Cool. Um, and then... Uh, capture points have a chance to drop artifacts as well. Mm -hmm. um, the longer you've, or the further out the capture points are, the more dangerous ones, like the ones in the center of the map, yeah. are going to have a higher chance of dropping this on something a little bit better than what the current ones up um, front And the map is a triangle, so center point is the most dangerous because you have all the factions pretty much meeting in that area. Right. Yeah. Um, well, then underneath the tree that's right in the center, there's a cave system. Oh. Which is really dangerous for PvP. Uh, but oh, okay. of course, it has all sorts of cool stuff in it. Too. And it has some good rewards if you can of survive course. long enough. Yes. All right. Um, can the artifact weapons be destroyed so um, the other team doesn't get it? No. Okay. So, so if you die, you can you could hide it. You could put it in your faction base, which people would only be able to get if they went to your base and raided it during the reckoning. Got it. Um, but there's no way to destroy them. So we just implemented a way so people were looting stuff and then jumping off of the world because we're like a floating island, right? Yeah. So people would get something and then jump off the island and then you couldn't get their loot. So it was like, if you're going to kill me and take my stuff, I'm, you just can't have it. Yeah. Uh, so we just that implemented... That sounds like something I would do. Oh, for sure. That's what I would do all the time. <laughs> so it totally makes sense. So if you were to jump off the world into like a big hole, we actually spawn your chest full of loot mm -hmm. somewhere close by with a big beam on it that says, hey, this guy tried if getting he away. Tried to. So everybody's like, oh, let's go get that beam. There's stuff over there because somebody okay. was trying, either fell in and got knocked in or they were just like, no, don't take my stuff. So. Got it. Got it. Um, if your faction wins, what's the reward? I saw a two-parter. Somebody said, is there a cosmetic that you can get for something for winning um so that's something that we're very uh diligently working on uh is what kind of permanent progression can we stack on top of the the, the resetting uh, we have we have plans for a meta progression type system where based on you know when you when you play the game and you you're 
an active participant in your faction, whether you win or lose, we want to reward people for that in some way. Got it. Um, in, in some permanent way. Mm -hmm. uh, we definitely want to stay away from things like permanent power, uh, like raw yeah. power, combat power. That's that dangerous. makes it difficult. Um, but the things that we like are different ways to customize your character that aren't necessarily better, they're just different. Uh, from both a, you know, a, a gameplay perspective and an aesthetic perspective. Mm -hmm. um, we don't have any concrete uh, designs for that at this point. It's something we're working on uh, behind the scenes now. Okay, cool. Well, um, just a double confirming, anything else you guys want to talk about other than go to rendgame.com. That's right. Sign up for the alpha, um, early access later in 2018. That's, I think we've covered awesome. all That's the it. things. Cool. Yeah. Well, thank you guys so much. Uh, thank you to everybody who played at home. Um, I appreciate you guys uh, jumping in and helping us out, especially me, even though I almost died of starvation and hunger. But, you know, <laughs> all in due time. We only have so much time to do this. Um, thank you guys so much for joining us. Thank um, you. Thank you. I apologize again to everybody for the wait. Oh, don't worry. It so, all worked out. Yeah. <laughs> it, all, it did, and I'm very happy about that. Um, give us just a few minutes. We're going to run to a quick commercial break, and then we'll be right back. Thanks, guys.